Don't give me I'm a quit vibes, bro. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm putting the stream up. weather this time of year in the south perfect fall football weather and we've got the roof wide open here at mercedes-benz stadium in the heart of georgia we thought the old place was loud somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd we're set to go as the falcons get ready to match up with the carolina panthers young way cool to kick off for atlanta Seems like we were just starting you training camp patient, here for this we ass in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Now this will make it into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. carry for Christian McCaffrey it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll make it second and a foot or so I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front he did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. I may be an analyst, but I'm also a fan. I love it when people take the big shots downfield, but he was under a lot of duress. And I think that forced the incompletion downfield. Didn't have a real good chance to find his target. Darnold on third down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion James, the linebacker. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. A yeah, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. A gain of six there on first. Check, 
Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers' 20-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight that moves the chains. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here in this half. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. So the turnover forced and a wonderful job on a big return. And how about the convoy that got created to help him get all the way back upfield? I mean, that's the part that people miss on. That's practice. That's worked on. It doesn't just happen in a game and everyone rallies. They discuss it prior to. And, every and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Complete. DJ Moore. His second touchdown on the season. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Panthers 7, Falcons nothing. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. First and 10 at their own 35-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Second and ten, it's McSorley. Oh, nearly picked. McSorley. That may be lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. Brings up third down and ten. Off of play action, it's McSorley. Looking downfield for Jones. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. The pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. The ball carrier. He was not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trent Murphy able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He was trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Third and long, it's Darnold. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, 
and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. At their own 20-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. We'll see what his offense can do. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him before that to the ground and fourth down now coming up i know this offense was expecting to do big things but it certainly hasn't turned out that way at least not through the first three drives they're definitely going to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield they're indeed going for it as they look to throw dance into his left he can run for it and he will and he gets it to the 32 good enough for a first down Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Here's McSorley on first and ten. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. A nice pick up there, 18 yards, first down Falcons. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts, but don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30, but my goodness, how about that effort? Yeah, he's not that old. Hey, I'm on the wrong side of 32. You, you, you okay? You feeling all right? <laughs> I'll be all right. Okay, good. I just need some chocolate and a box of tissue. <laughs> An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. 36, 36. Hey, hey, watch out. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. Third down, they're going to throw for it with McSorley. It's caught, Jones. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Call it a gain of five, and it'll result in a fresh set of downs. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now the Falcons' replacement for Devontae Freeman. Here's Todd Gurley. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Brings up second and one. Now it's Gurley. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. McSorley from the shotgun. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. But it's going to be second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the shotgun, McSorley letting one go deep for the end zone. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. On third down, it's McSorley. He hits Beasley right side. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. It's a bit of a catch for him to remember. That's number 400 for his NFL career. Not a bad number at all. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. 
And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's like you're going negative on me I, I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. So. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive, you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. It'll be a loss of seven on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Keep going, keep Monte going, Nicholson man. picks it. And the return will stop right around the 25. Now, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Darnold now to throw. Finds the open target, Arnold. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. First and ten, Darnold. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Darnold. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And they with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 16. He's going to look deep for more. And that is incomplete. Thus far, they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game. Almost felt like they said in the huddle, can you guys pass protect? Let's take a big shot downfield. Didn't get it on that one, but they may come back to it again. On is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. Excellent return that time, 26 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Aaron it out, and that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 54 yards. A 
first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Now McSorley. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Cole Beasley, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Makes the score Falcons 10, Panthers 7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This taken in about four yards deep. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. First and 10 at their own 33-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. And Darnold got to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Fabian Moreau. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. McSorley, first and 10. The left side completion to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing is McSorley, and he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. On second down, it's Patterson, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. A slant to Jones. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's McSorley to throw. Throwing right, and that's complete. McSorley, a gain of six there on first. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing and communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. McSorley sets to pass. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons will extend their lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Fabian Moreau. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's you know they tell the niggas do not talk. You ain't even going to score. You trash. Coach. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. Taken about seven yards deep, and Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line, and they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. A running play. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things in any event. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Kendall Sheffield on the tackle. A six-yard pickup brings off the play action. Darnold at the Falcons. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. McCaffrey on the counter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. No gain on the play. It's now fourth down. Joey Sly on now for the Panthers. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire.